You can't stop me leaving. I can't let you go. You can't leave me. I'm not leaving you. I am going to my grandson's wedding. But if you go on like this, like I... Like what? You're scaring me, Jeff. I don't like it. You're not really going to leave me on my own when I'm ill, are you? You'll be fine. And I will be back in a few days. Right, what? No, Split your gun. You can't go anywhere. Yeah, let me let me take one of them. What took you so long? You've left the sellotape in a mess again. Can't find the end. Look who I found on the street. Graham. Right, let's uh, get this off here, yeah? and uh, then I'll make you a cup of tea. I've told him I'm coming to the wedding. He hadn't booked anything. Feel free to say I told you so. I'm not going to say that. Come and sit down. But I am glad that you've finally seen what he's like. I'm Stu for a bit. Come on, we need to book you a plane ticket. I'm so happy that you're coming. Actually, I... I don't know if I can afford the ticket. Stick it on your credit card. Has he taken your cards off you? No, 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 no. They're at home. Maybe I should go and get them. No, it's fine. You can share my hotel room and I already said I'd pay for your ticket. You just sit here. Ryan's going to make you a brew. I'll go and finish packing, and then we can get out of here, OK? Um, done. I've booked your flight, and we can check you in in a minute. I'll pay you back as soon as I can. Right. I'm being sent out for some last-minute supplies. Uh, can I pick you up anything whilst I'm out? Oh, no, thanks. I'm fine. OK. Oh, how about a little pre-flight tipple? Those you're not the best flyer. I'm sure we've got some gin round here somewhere. I don't think that would be a good idea. I don't drink anymore. Okie dokie. See you in a bit. You don't still think you've got a drink problem, do you? What do you mean? Well, don't you think that's just another way of him trying to have control over you? No, he wouldn't do that. Gran, if you want to see what he's got to say for himself, go for it. It'll just be a load more lies and excuses. He's just saying all that to stop you going to the wedding. You don't know that. I need to see him. Just call him. No, it's going straight to answer phone. Yeah, of course it is. Because he wants you to chase after him. You don't know him. Jeff doesn't show it, but he's a very sensitive, damaged man. I can't believe he's pulling the wool over your eyes yet again. Why can't you see that he's playing you like a fiddle? No, he's not perfect. I know that, but he's not the monster you are trying to paint him to be. Sometimes his insecurities get the better of him, but he does what he does out of love, which is the opposite of Sharif. But I know that Grandad treated you badly, and I know that you kept our family together throughout everything. I did in spite of what it took from me. Yeah, you were the matriarch, Gran, and I respected you so much for that. I still do. 
And you don't have anything to prove by staying in this marriage. You think I'm staying with, with Jeff out of pride? No. To keep up appearances? No, no, that is not what I meant by it. I just, I want you to realise that these threats, they're not coming from love or insecurity. He wants to control you. You really don't know him. Uh, well, neither do you. What is that supposed to mean? Well, when I got you the information from Claire's law, you didn't even want to see it. Because I know what it is. Jeff's already told me. OK, fine. We'll go together and we'll check on him. You come with me? Yes. If that's what it's going to take to put your mind at rest, we'll go and make sure he's OK before we go to the airport. Thank you. <laughs> just threw a wobbler and smashed it. Anger issues, Gran. What is that blood? It's a few drops. He'll have nicked a finger or something. How can you be so blase about all of this? Um... to get going or we'll miss our flight. I can't go. Yes, you can. Just tell Tim what's happened and he'll sort it. Sort it? This is a human life we're talking about. How can you be so callous? I'd never forgive myself if I went away and Jeff did something to himself. Oh, Gran, come on. That's exactly why he's doing this. He's manipulating you, and you're falling for it. I can't take that chance. Jeff's vulnerable. And you know yourself how these things just come out of the blue. Look at Aiden. Don't you dare compare that man to Aiden. They're nothing alike. But you just go without me. Tells it, and I'm sorry. I can't give up on my husband. Oh, do you know what? Fine. I give up. There is clearly no getting through to you. You know, when Jeff finds out that you've not gone to the wedding, he's going to stroll through that door like nothing's happened. You'll have missed your only grandson's wedding, and you'll have no one to blame but yourself. Do you know what? This time, I will say I told you so. It wasn't what it looked like. Taxi's here. Hey, you're going to have to go now if you want to make your flight. How can I leave her? After seeing that look in his eye the other day, she shouldn't be on her own with him. What can you do if you stay? You've already said everything you can. I just don't want her to think she's on her own. I'm going to keep my eye on him, like I've already promised. All right, look, Yasmin will just be more upset if she finds out you've not gone too. Mm, OK. OK. Yeah. And uh, I need you to promise me something. You're not going to fall in love with any handsome strangers at this wedding. I'm not promising anything. <sighs> right. Can you drop that case round to her later? Yeah. Tara, I'm sorry. <sighs> sure. <sighs> we were so close to getting her away. Mm.
Oh, thank God. Where have you been? Did you get my messages? Yes, I did. I came home as soon as I saw them. Oh. Oh. I'm so glad you're okay. Yes, I am now. I've got you back. I'm nothing without you. Oh. You know that, don't you? So where did you... Where did you go? I was about to call the police. I, I don't want to talk about it. it it's, it's over. Let's... Just put it behind us. <laughs> oh, Jerry. You shouldn't keep thoughts like that bottled up. Honestly. Love, I, I'm fine now. <laughs> You're all I need. Ah. Oh. What happened? <sighs> I just nicked it on that damn photo. <laughs> just a scratch. I'll make us a brew, shall I? You're not watching this. I'm sorry, my mind keeps wandering. Well, we've both had a stressful day. <laughs> I think we should get an early night tonight. Yep. And I'm... I think I'll take the spare room. Why? Uh, a lot's happened today, and although I'm glad you're home and safe, Those emails. I told you about that. You got that all wrong. It's just a dating site, I swear. Even so, uh, I'd like some space. Just one night? Sure. Okay. I guess tea. Chippy? Lovely, yeah. Back in ten. to speak to someone about accessing information under Claire's law, please. Thank you. Yes, yes, PC Garner. Hello. PC Perrin. Uh, go through, please, ladies. Thank you. And with this fray. The landlady of the pub phoned the police, claiming that your husband and Miss Walkie were involved in a domestic incident. Would you have told me this? Who started it? Mm, reports are conflicting. Charges were dropped due to insufficient evidence. But Jeff said she attacked him. It's possible. But did he mention the complaint Miss Walker had made to the police beforehand about being harassed by Mr. Metcalf? No. Do you feel afraid of your husband, Yasmin?
I don't know. Does it make you feel like you're walking on eggshells? He can be intense. If you're scared of your husband, we can help you. Is there anywhere we can take you now where you'd feel safe? No. We have specially trained officers. If you would like to speak to one of them about what's been happening, perhaps in time you could consider giving a statement. I don't know what there is to say. We could take you to a women's refuge service if you'd prefer. I'm not some sort of battered wife. It's not always about physical violence, Yasmin. Can I get back to you? Is there anything we can do to help you now? I'd rather have a think before doing anything rash. Is there a card I could take or anything? Sorry. We prefer not to leave any physical trace of this meeting. If the aggressor discovers the victim has sought any kind of help, things can really escalate. I see. But you can call any police station at any time. Thank you. Thank you. Please, Yasmin, take care of yourself. <clears throat> Oh, I thought you were out. Where did you get off to? I needed some things. I, um, I wanted to talk about yesterday. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. I should be the one apologising. That email you saw. Research for your, for your dating show? No, well, yes. You were right. It was from an escort. You... You denied it. Well, you know, I thought it was just another dating site, you know, for the show. But I made a mistake. I don't know, I, I got confused. Half of me thought they were trying to pose as something legit to lure people in, but as soon as I realised my mistake, I made my excuses. Well, why didn't you admit it to me? Well, I was embarrassed. I was humiliated to think that my wife would know what an out-of-touch old fool I was. I'd rather think of you as a fool than a liar. Or something worse. I know. Please, can we move past it all? I'll make us some lunch. Oh, love, no, I'm, I haven't done the chickens. Maybe you should feed them first. OK. It does appear. Do you mind if I go and have a lie down? I'm wiped out. Mm, off you go. I'll take care of this. something um no because it seems you're missing something it oh it's my handkerchief here it is here it is so you haven't lost anything no you sure you can tell me i haven't lost anything didn't think you had <laughs> don't think i'll bother with that nap i fancy a pint I've misplaced my keys, so I'll have to take yours if that's okay. Yes, of course. Means you won't be able to go out till I get back. It's fine. Good. Did you buy? Round to it now. Been mad busy. Thank you. No, no problem. Everything okay here? Yes, everything's fine. Just 
Ali's been on the phone. Says she hasn't managed to catch up with you today. Hmm. Well, she, she's worried about you, you know. She needn't be. Okay. Although it does sound like Karen and Zidane are having an amazing time. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad. Yeah. Right. Look. Tell me to keep my nose out if you like, all right? But I just want you to know that I'm around the corner if you need me for anything. Ryan, I say this with affection, but Mind I... my own business. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sure. Right, I'll get off then. Do you want me to take that upstairs with you? No, I can manage. Okay. Right. Okay. Take care then. You too. You never get over your first love. But it does get easier. And you can keep in touch. You can call. You can text. Oh, you're hilarious. <laughs> hey up. What are we having? Well, he's having a meltdown, and I'll have a I'll have a cider, please. A meltdown over what? Things are a bit tight with the wedding. I'm gonna have to sell me horse. <laughs> well, why didn't you ask me for more money? Because you've already put your hand in your pocket. Look, you're my only son. If you need more money for the wedding, I'll sort it. Uh, three pints when you're ready, please, love. Do you think you should be drinking after your funny turn a few weeks back? I'm not used to. Listen, Dad, come on about this money. You're taking it, that's all there is to it. Yeah, but don't you think you should speak to Yasmin first? She'll be fine, don't no. worry about it. Yeah, could I have some bitter with that head, please, love? Well, I don't know what to say. <laughs> you don't have to say anything. What's the point in having money if you can't spend it? Oh, I'm sorry I took so long. I was about to send out a search party. I know, Freshco's didn't have that ham with the breadcrumbs you prefer, so I had to go to the posh deli. See? Four pounds sixty? Uh, well, never mind chuffing breadcrumbs. It should be gold-plated at that price. I know it's a little dearer, but I felt like spoiling you. In that case, all is forgiven. Uh -huh. Want a cuppa? Uh, not at the moment, thanks, no. Uh -huh. So, what do you feel like I'm doing today, oh love of my life? Anything you like. Well, that's not what I asked. What do you want to do? I'm not really fussed. Come on, you can do better than that. Let your imagination run free. The world is your oyster. Well, I... I, I haven't been to the cinema for ages. Good, OK, now we're getting somewhere. Oh, have a look what's on. Come to think of it, there's that film uh, with the, uh, you know, what, what's her name? What's her name? Yes. Well, I um, don't know, I don't know. Well, actually, I'm not really in the mood for going out, but please don't let that stop you. How do you mean? I mean, if you want to go to the pitches on your lonesome, that's absolutely fine by me. Don't be silly. I'm serious. I don't want to go by myself. That, that's, that's not fun. You sure? Because I'm giving you a free pass here. Sure. Because the alternative is being trapped indoors with me all day. No, I'd hardly use the word trapped. Well, lumbered, then. Or lumbered, either. My mistake. Hmm. I'm glad you'd rather stay in with me. There is nowhere I'd rather be. Good, because, you know, ask me, I think all that me-time malarkey is overrated. I couldn't agree more. Hey, why don't we have our own little film festival right here? I'll go and get some popcorn and snacks later. That sounds great. That's my girl. I'll have that cup of now. <laughs> Honestly. Uh, Dev has just completely humiliated me. He's just gone off on one. I mean, 
boss or no boss. If he thinks he can speak to me like that, he's got another thing coming. <laughs> Is this not a good time? It's not the best. Oh, sorry, you should have said. You didn't give me a chance. Oh, afternoon. I didn't know we were having company. It's all right, I'm just leaving. I'm obviously interrupting something. Are you? That's news to me. I was just about to tell Cathy we had plans to spend the day together. Well, and you were going to send her packing? It's no big deal. I just needed to vent about Dev. And vent you shall. Stick the kettle on, love. Earth to Yasmin. Oh. Are you sure this is okay? Don't want to get in the way. Don't be daft. Between you and me. I don't know what's going into her today. Hey, sit down. I mean, I know Dev is stressed, but that does not justify how he spoke to me. Absolutely not. By the way, this ham is delicious. Mm. I think so. Personally, I'm a bit underwhelmed. Yeah, I just feel like he doesn't appreciate me. I'm sure that's not true. Sounds like a breakdown in communications is all. Yes, he doesn't listen enough. Well, he wouldn't be the first fella to be afflicted by selective hearing syndrome, would it? Is that what they're calling it these days? <laughs> In that case, my brain must be absolutely riddled. Ah, you ask me, if more men kept their gobs shut and their ears open, the world would be a happier place. I'm sure Yasmin could testify to that. I think that's your cue to dish the dirt. There isn't any dirt to dish. Really? No, oh, no, love, come on, don't spare the horses. I'm a big boy, I can take it. But if anyone's a problem in this relationship, it's me. Women always like to paint men as the villain of the piece, but they can be poor communicators as well. Yeah. It's not always a man's responsibility to be open and honest. Agreed. Do we get the idea, love? Women think of themselves as perfect, but they are not. What? Excuse me, I never once suggested that I was. <laughs> well, if you've got something to say, go on, say it. It doesn't matter. What? Obviously it does. Well, shall we change the subject? No, no, no Jeff, no. She's been off with me ever since I got here. Please, share your pearls of wisdom. OK. Mm. You really want to know what I think? Yeah. Well, I think you find it easier to blame others rather than address your own shortcomings. I see. Well, uh, on that note... No, Cathy, please. What? You know, uh, in the spirit of openness and honesty, you've changed, Yasmin. And not for the better. You can see yourself out. What the heck's gotten into you? You're right, Zavish. You made a scene, is what you did. I thought you'd be pleased. Well, what's that supposed to mean? Well, she always gets on your nerves. You've said that more than once. So now you're blaming your bizarre behaviour on me. You said you wanted us to spend the day together and Cathy intruded on that. Right, let me get this straight. You gave Cathy both barrels because you wanted us to spend some quality time. I suppose. And the fact that you may have lost a friend doesn't bother you at all? If she was a proper friend, she wouldn't have reacted like that in the first place. Besides, I don't need her sort of negativity in my life. Then what do you need in your life? You. Just you. I enjoyed that. What would you like to watch next? Nothing. How about a game of Scrabble? Actually, I've got a better idea. Why don't we hit the hay? Hmm? Not tonight, Jeff. I'm not feeling that great. All the more reason to visit the love doctor. Oh, I'm serious. Yeah, so am I, Yasmin. I feel like we reconnected today. Don't ruin it now. Let's make it the perfect ending to the perfect day. Jeffrey's favourite girl. Me? Oh, my little puppy dog. You're still not feeling well, eh? The surgery just called, actually. I'm seeing Dr. Gaddas today for my 
test results. Then you must go in. Now, this instant. Oh, I think I'd better stick to the appointment. No, I just want you well. Demand antibiotics. Back in the day, they handed them out like penny chews, but now, blood out of a stone. Well, there's good reason, no doubt. Their efficacy will be affected, you well, see. Well, fortunately for you, I am fighting fit today. I shall venture into speed dial, and I shall be your knight in shining coma. Hey, see what I did there? I wonder if it's a water infection. Water infection? Uh, yes, you know, cystitis. Well, I just think you're stressed. Get yourself into Gertie Gaddis, and then get back here, get on that couch and rest. Thank you. Gaddis, the badass. One kicker out of bed. Joke. Hey, um, you'll come straight back after your appointment, eh? None of this standing around on street corners like a common fishwife doling out the gossip. Hey, Cathy, you never guess what? Have stopwatch. We'll use it. Hmm? Thanks for coming in. Oh. How have you been feeling? Oh, you know, a bit run down. In pain when I'm passing water still. I was relieved when you called, actually. Did the tests show something up? Have I got cystitis? Well, something did show up in the tests, yes. But it's not cystitis. Yeah. And we need to speak about this, but... Oh, I probably just need some vitamin pills, but I never know if they work. But you I don't... You tested positive for chlamydia. I'm sorry, what? Chl chlamydia. Gosh, I'm sorry, I... I thought I, yes. I must have got it wrong. Um, I thought chlamydia. I don't know what you call it these days. Is it is it is it an STD? It's an STI. No, a sexually transmitted infection. Is it? It is. But I can't have. I'm afraid. No. I've I've only ever slept with two men in my whole life. This condition can lie dormant, with no symptoms. Still, must be a shock. Yes, well, that's, a, that's an understatement. See that. And if I might suggest, it is something you need to discuss with your partner. See if he's had any symptoms. Has he had any symptoms? No, I... I don't know. How could this have happened? How could this have happened? Oh, my goodness, could, could it have sparked his heart problem? I mean, could it have triggered another problem with his heart? His heart problem? Yes, he has a heart problem. You know he has a heart problem. You diagnosed it. I'm afraid I'm not in a position to discuss another patient's medical history. But I'm his wife. And you need to speak to your husband. Here is a prescription for some antibiotics. And here is the number of a gum clinic. Gum? It's a genito-urinary medicine clinic. In case you want to get checked for anything else, I suggest your husband gets tested too. Uh, you okay? Oh, yes. Hey, listen, um, if you're struggling, struggling, I'm going to a meeting. You can come with me. Meeting <laughs> at the Weatherfield Recovery Centre, oh. and it's a really good one. <laughs> and I don't think you've been there. Oh, I could, I'd kill for a drink right now. <laughs> That's not the answer, though, is it? Peter, yeah. I don't need to come to a meeting with you. I'm not drunk. But you're very kind, thank you. Okay, well, if you need me, I am always here. Always. How did it go at the doctors? What did she say? Is everything okay? 
What's Peter said to you? Is he upset you? Yes? Yes! Is it bad news? I... You've got um... cancer. Is it bowel? Brain? It's brain, isn't it? I've got an STI. A what? A sexually transmitted infection. Chlamydia. Well, and a doctor told you this? Gadas. I'm not accusing you of anything. Are you sure the doctor's right? I can't help but wonder how I got it. Well, it's a very good question. Looks like one of us has been unfaithful, and that one isn't me. I haven't slept with anyone apart from you. Oh, really? And yet you're knocking about the place with... What's it called again? Chlamydia? I have been faithful. Oh, and I'm meant to believe that, you disease-ridden old tart. That's not very nice. Well, it's not very nice for me, is it? When my missus comes on with the clap. No wonder you stink. What? And I know what you're going to say next, dear. You're going to bring up the escorts again. Well, I'm not the one who's been emailing prostitutes. How dare you? How dare you point the finger of blame at me? If anybody should be under suspicion, it's you! Even think that? Think what? That I could possibly be sleeping with someone else. When do I have the time to sleep with anyone else? But you've got the inclination. Thanks. I barely even leave the house. If I'm not cleaning and following one of your cleaning schedules, I'm at work. Well, I don't know, do I? Hmm. Coffee cream? I love coffee cream. Will you stop giving those dirty looks, please? If you haven't got a fancy man, Fine. Must have been Shifty Sharif. Sharif and I split up years ago. Well, he was unfaithful, I seem to recall. Putting it about all over the shop, by all accounts. Shame you never invested in a femidom. If he had infected me, I would have known long before now. Mm, you must have been rotten for years. Thanks. Poor. Yeah. Preline. And you want to know the worst thing? Muggins here is going to have to be checked out as well. Brilliant! Thank you so much for the beautiful little gift of herpes. It's not herpes. Well, I'm not an expert on STIs, am I? A thousand apologies. Now, would you please go upstairs and do some cleaning or something? I can't even look at you. And don't overspray the bathroom cleaner. Talk about trigger happy. You call yourself a high-class escort agency. You're riddled with disease. Did you do refunds? Yes, you did hear it right. Look, 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 I haven't got time for this. Two things. One, I shall never be using your services again. And two, I will be invoicing you for all my medical costs. Oh, and three, get rid of Randy Rachel. Look at the state of this place. I bet you've been sat on your fleshy tabernacles, chatting to blokes online, gagging for it, Weatherfield. That's not true. Guess where I've been? To a private clap clinic. I'm 160 quid down. My health advisor was called Mahmood. Handsome chappy, very smooth skin. You'd have loved him. What did he say? That I'm living with a goer, basically. He didn't. No, he wouldn't dare. But you could tell that's what he's thinking, because guess what? I'm Team Chlamydia too. Oh, let me catch those tears in an egg cup and, and drink them to see what guilty tastes like. 
I phoned Sonia. Well, the 80s pop star. Sharif's partner. She told me that when Sharif walked out on her, she got herself tested as part of some health insurance scheme. She was clean. And in plain English? The infection didn't come from me. Well, it's very interesting, isn't it? That you'll believe your dirty, cheating ex is bit on the side over me. She was the last person I wanted to speak to. Trust me. Trust you? Really? <laughs> I think trust's gone out the window, don't you, love? Have you any idea how undignified I felt sitting in a clinic full of harlots and sex workers? And then you accuse me of bringing that disease into our bed. Well, what am I, am I supposed to think? Oh, the tone of your voice is like my gloves on a blackboard. But of course, if it didn't come from Sharif, there has to be another explanation. <sighs> Did it never cross your mind that Sonia might be a lying little turd? I don't know how I get through the day sometimes. I mean, what else are you going to bring to my door? What are you going to give me next? AIDS? Thanks, Yaz. Thanks a lot. Well, I, I haven't slept with anyone else. This has really shocked me. No, I... I feel violated. How do you think I feel? I don't enjoy being an ogre, you know. So let's drop all this worrying about where it came from. I forgive you. There. That's nice, isn't it? Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, we both have to have this treatment. <laughs> right. I might do ribs for lunch. Get some flesh stuck between my teeth. Fancy some. I'm not hungry. I feel sick. Oh, well. All the more for me. I see what we've got in. An ingredients for my marinade. And then I fancy a trip to the butcher's. So what's all these bits and bobs for? Marinade for sticky ribs. A bit spicy, a bit sweet. Very sticky. Like all the good things in life, eh? Mmm. You're like a walking carry-on film, you, aren't you? They almost bored the liver out of me. <laughs> oh, this has leaked. Then I shall fetch another. <sighs> Gosh. It's all over the counter. It really is impossible to get this soy sauce off the counter. Yeah. I fancy a treat. And type 2 diabetes. This is... I'll have to get a cloth. Do you know, I'm not even meant to be here. It's Dev's shift, but he's got problems at home with his flashing daughter. It's like an oil slick. Just... Like an oil slick. Got the place looking good there, Yaz Hans. Hey, do your Yaz Hans for me. Uh, <laughs> Very good. Do you like that? Very droll. You know what? I want to use my special marinating bowl. I left it in the cupboard next to the desk a while back. Uh, oh. Why is this locked, Yaston Villa? Well, there's nothing in there but my cleaning stuff. And my special marinading bowl. Anyway, why does a bottle of bleach need to be locked away? I don't know. I just got into the habit. Oh, no. No. Have you been tempted to drink it? Drink what? The bleach. I read an article about an alky who used to drink that when she was bladdered. Of course not. Well, come on. No, I'm excited now. Why don't you show me what you've got in your magical lady cave of hidden treasures, eh? I, I... I can't remember where I'd put the key. Well, you better find it, um, baby. Because Daddy's waiting. And Daddy means business. This isn't half as good as my proper bowl. Is it in this drawer? No. I do. I'm getting excited. Why? 
I think you're pulling my leg. I know what it is. What? What is? You've got a present for me under there, haven't you? You've got a present for me in your special hidey hole. No, I haven't. Well, you're hiding something from me, sweet pea. I can tell. It's just my cleaning stuff. Well, you have to find the key then, cheeky chops. Is it in your pockets? Do you want me to help you find it? No, it's fine. Will you? Is it no. A... <laughs> Jeff, hey, no. Is it? Jeff. Is it? Oh, no. Jeff. Is it? Is it? Oh. Are you thick or what? No. Well, then. What? I've got two words for you. Open sesame. Cold. I stand at the door and knock. Who's there? Doctor! Doctor who? Get back in your TARDIS, mister! Gosh! Get it out. <clears throat> and open it. Zip action, Yasmin. Did you learn that at college with all your other brain box talents? No. Ooh, life is full of disappointments, eh? Oh, look, what do we have here? Full of Yasmin stuff. Planning on going somewhere, dear. What are you doing? Mind your own nosy hole. I just packed it for Zidane's wedding. You know I packed it for Zidane's wedding. So why didn't you unpack it? I, I didn't get round to it. You must think I was born yesterday. It'd be much more poetic if I were using vodka. But needs must. What are you doing? Stay inside and shut up. <laughs> Sorry for losing your smalls. I do apologise. It's an awful lot of smoke for a bit of garden waste, if you don't mind me saying. Just some rubbish we don't need anymore. You know, well, they brought the clean air out for stuff like that. Well, it's a one-off. It won't last long. <sighs> Jay, if you weren't Tim's dad... Where you're gonna go? Nowhere. No time for lying, Yasmin. I don't know. Well, you were obviously keen to go, so go on. There's the door. Get lost. Hope you don't get run over by a ten ton truck. I stick by what William Morris said. Have nothing in your house that you do not know to be useful or believe to be beautiful. You tick neither of those boxes, so off you trot. Go on. I'm sick of looking at you. You see, you can't, can you? I don't want to. No, that's right. Because no other idiot would have you. Just muggins here with no self-esteem and sex-based infections. You've got no one but me. So forget about beggaring off. 
and shut up. Finally. You know, you should be down on bending knee worshipping me for letting you stay. So, come on. What? On your knees. Going nowhere, Yasmin. Say the words. What, what words? I'm going nowhere. I'm going nowhere. See? I'd rather see you dead than with someone else. Close here, best before September 2018. Don't say it. My mother fed a family of eight without sell-by dates. I took care over that. Good food, good money. And for what? I had no idea. Three times I called you. Well, I, I thought I set my alarm. You had it. Yeah, and I'm keeping it. And that and the laptop for your own good. And I, I, I haven't even seen Zidane's photographs yet. You know, it's bad enough missing his wedding. Near my faulty heart. Please, darling. You made me breakfast, darling. Thank you, darling. Sit. Eat. I couldn't stomach it. Did you eat yesterday? There you go, then. With, with the stress, the medication, I think I'd be sick. Brunch. Eat. What is this? A hunger strike? Eat! It's cold. Well, it wasn't at eight o'clock this morning when I shouted you. Yeah? You've got to keep serving this up for every meal? Not up to standard, Lady Mook. I'm ill. Snap! And drugged up to the nines, thanks to you. Because I hate it. I feel unclean. You are. Diseased. In mind as well as body. Paranoid. Mentally unstable. What your friends in the PC brigade had called exhibiting challenging behaviour. I mean, back in a secret suitcase. What kind of wife does that? A stupid one. At last. Some sense. Marriages need to be worked at. Starting now, take time to reflect on what you've done and how you'll do things differently from now on. Where would we be without podcasts, eh? Do you like podcasts, Nina? They're a game changer. Never a dull moment, eh? Hmm. Whoa. Butter not marge, plenty of sultanas, and toasted to the colour of caramel. Hey, she's the bee's knees, this girl, isn't she? They should make a podcast about you. Mm. Pizza, could I, um... Oh, yeah, sure. <gasps> now that I've got you, and strictly entre nous, if a certain person is making a nuisance of herself, namaste. I'm sorry, Jeff. I can't understand. My better half. No, oh, Jeff. No, no, don't be daft. Hey, is she feeling any better? She was a bit out of sorts yesterday. Mm. I may be speaking out of turn, but I think she's been feeling a bit pressurised by you about the old imbibing. I keep saying, you get straight for you and you alone, but she's a people pleaser. You know, she, she stresses when she lets folk down. We've barely even spoken about and it. And when she stresses, she craves the old sauce. And I don't mean the brown stuff. Hmm? You're not offended? No. Got you. Thanks, Peter. He's a character. Isn't he just? There you go, love, keep that. Yasmin's hungry. 
you can stay over him. Let's see if she fancies a coffee. What? After the way she spoke to you, no fear. She basically called you a winger. Everybody's allowed an off day now and then. She'll want cheering up. You know she missed the dance wedding. Hello, Yasmin! You said it yourself. She was downright rude. Even Jeff was embarrassed. It pains me to say it. She's ghosting you. It's not like that. She doesn't deserve your loyalty. If it isn't teeny tiny tears. Why do I keep upsetting you? Well, I do wonder. I've just seen Ryan in the Rovers, showing off Alia's photos from Zidane's wedding. You know, by the sound of it, I don't think your grandchildren missed us at all. I was sat in Roy's, minding my own, and there's Peter Barlow, the patron saint of Alkies, giving it all that. Apparently, some local lush, a more mature lady, shall we say, has been throwing herself at him. Now, he feels sorry for the poor, deluded old bat, but he doesn't quite know how to tell her to sling a rug. And then, it, suddenly, it struck me. The suitcase. You packed it for Peter. What? No, no! For the day that bargain basement James Dean came and swept you off your feet. Bless your poor, demented no, little brain. I barely know Peter Barlow. Deviation. So, you haven't got the hops for him? He just tried to help me! Uh, uh, uh. Obfuscation. Do you fancy the pants off him? Never crossed my mind. Because now, every time I see you with him... No, I won't speak to him. I don't anyway. And if I see him in the street from now on, I, 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 I'll cross over. You're the only man I want. For the rest of my life, I wish you would believe me. So, the wedding went well then. May, may I please log on to see the wedding photos? What do you think you're doing? I, I need some fresh air. Please, this, this kitchen smells. Just let me feed the chickens. Now she's interested in food. That's it. That's all it takes, sir. I'm it. Come on, let go. Now look what you've done. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Criminal, your precious chicken's could have eaten most of that. And now, the floor needs mopping. Again. Oh, do it. Please, I just have some fresh air, please. While, it, while, it's, while it's drying, what harm can it do? Oh, my girls. I'm sorry I'm so late with your food. Oh, oh, how's in the hens? Oh, you nearly took off, then. Dolly Daydream, I call her. Doesn't know what day it is most of the time, do you, Dolly? <laughs> well, I'm glad I've caught you, because Faye has put us on the guest list at the Bistro. They're trialling these new menus, plus we're going to get a sneak peek of the renovations before it opens up. Lucky you. Oh, and you. Tim and I want you both to be our guests. Shame. Yasmin's not well. Uh, I'm on some tablets. A um, few days now, I'll be right as rain. Oh, come, Yasmin. It'll put you up a bit. Look, she can't put a front on when she's poorly. A change of scenery do you the world of good. And this is a hot ticket. You're not eating yet, have you? Right, well, there you go, then. Save you from cooking. I don't want to be a killjoy. Well, then don't. I'm going to tell Faye to book us in early. You'll be home and tucked up in bed by nine o'clock.
You let people walk all over you. Go round, then. Tell them I'm not well enough. What, play bad cop? Oh, you'd love that, wouldn't you? Big bad Jeff, misery on a mountain. A, a dinner invitation, though. From family who want to spend time with you. You're, you're a lucky man. You'll only embarrass me. Best behaviour. Indoor voice. I promise. Well, my good blue shirt needs ironing. And if they ask you why you're on tablets? Ear infection. They won't suspect a thing. You're not going like that. Let's put a decent frock on. They were in the suitcase. Well, everything you owned. Well, my good party stuff burnt. And that's my fault, I suppose. Look, you've deliberately picked your shabbiest sack to go out in. Why? So they'll ask you, and you can tell them, your husband's a tyrant. This is quite smart, isn't it? Not smart enough, love. Right. This was going to be a surprise. Well, that's that ruined. Yeah, put it on. You bought this for me. Yeah, let's see it on you. Now? We're already late. Sally said half six. Oh, look at her. <laughs> she thinks I'm going to jump her bones because that was so rewarding last time. Chop, chop! Come on, your public awaits. Stand up straight. It's supposed to cling in all the right places. I haven't worn a size 12 for years. Oh, my fault again. You know what? Forget it. We're already late. I'll ring Tim and Sally. No, Jeff. Well, if it's too much trouble... No, I'm ready. You want to know I've lost weight? It's, it's lovely. Do you don't want to upset Tim and Sally. And Faye. she want to impress her granddad. Ah, <sighs> oh, well, I feel a bit underdressed. Yasmin, you look. How does she look to me? Well, uh, wow, yeah. No words. You said it was a hot ticket. Jeff surprised me with this dress, but if it's too much of a statement, I can change no, 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 it. No, 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 not when there's pints waiting to be sunk. It's an early sitting, isn't it? No, it's fine. We've got another half an hour yet. Seven o'clock, I did tell you doesn't listen. Right, next round's on me. I'm really looking forward to the meal. It's terribly good of you. Oh, you're joking after everything you've done for us. A little bird tells me you used to be a bookie. Yeah. On course. And can you do Tic Tac? Nobody can Vogue. Yeah, don't ever ask him for a tip, because Grand National, Gold Cup, the answer will always be the same. Dusty carpets, never been beat. Yeah, let me get them. I'm having it. Sally, passes me wallet. <laughs> Might run off with it. Well, you won't get far on a season ticket and a five year run, no. They're laughing at you. No, I'm not having it. David! Oh, one more smirk and I'll knock his block off. Shh. No, them. I have. Get these glasses, Dad. Come on. Yeah. No, I'll get No. Oh, yeah. Ooh, kill a dress, she has me. So, yesterday on the show, young woman turns up at her date, turns up at the restaurant and blow me. Let me guess, her ex-husband. It's worse. It's her father! Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 o
Hey, Yazzie, you all right? Do you want me to come with you? Please don't fuss. Hey, I'm telling you about my radio show. Yeah, it's dating slot. All the hospitals going crazy for it. I've got punters timing their visits. <laughs> You're wasted at that place. Hey, I'm thinking it might turn into a good podcast. Hey, what do you know about dating? Well, what does he know about dating? He's an happily married man. Tell my wife. Somebody tell my wife. <laughs> you so funny, Jeff. They should bottle him and dispense him on the NHS. Oh, Jeff Acetamol. to mention weddings and the other 30% to the bill. Yeah. Anyway, we've got our theme. It's timeless elegance. Yes. Thanks to you, we can achieve it. Yeah. You're not just our in-laws. You're, you're our friends. Kathy, <laughs> Brian, why don't you uh, pull up a chair? No, it's all right, thanks. Uh, we're meeting a pal. Yes. Mm -hmm. We're out with Tim and Sally. Just saying. Right. Raise your glasses. Um, what, what, what are we toasting? To you two for making our dreams come true. Oh, oh, don't go bashful on us, you. This is serious without your generosity. Yeah, what would our wedding breakfast have been? It would have been shandy and a few sausage rolls. Yeah, the first dance around a blooming jukebox. <laughs> to the other happy couple. You know about this, do you? Of course she does. To family. To family. 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 <laughs> oh, what are you celebrating? Oh, don't ask. You'll end up seeing another 500 pictures of Sally's wedding dress. Oh, I'm going to show you, cos Carla is a fashionista. <laughs> hey, Carla, look at this. Nottingham lace. Nottingham lace. <laughs> oh, classic. That's my cue for a was. Come You lent the money. Gifted. Hmm? He's my only son. Why should he have to do this on the cheap? And keep your voice down. How much? I took a dividend from Speed Dow. So the money wasn't for the menus? What is this, the third degree? I am a shareholder. So, so am I, so is Alia. So much for the indoor voice. Do you want to ruin the night? How much did you give them? Darling, we can discuss this at oh, home. Roughly, roughly, hundreds, thousands. You want to do this now? Fine. Get your coat. Shift. <laughs> Sal, we're going. The face gone to all this trouble. Don't you dare turn the waterworks on in here. Oh, please don't. I, I, I'll back up. I will. I will. Sorry, guys. Yaz isn't up to it. So tell Faye we're very, very sorry. It should have been a lovely night, but when you got to go, you got to go. Oh, oh no, Yasmin, what is it? Oh, it's my fault. I shouldn't have bought him in the first place. We can go back. It's not too late. Tell them I needed some fresh air. You need a frontal lobotomy. That's what you need. Oh, please, I won't read another word. It's a compulsion. You have to ruin everything. I feel sick. Mm -hmm. Stick your head between your knees. Go on. Get inside. I'm sorry, Jeff. Please don't go back without me. Never you mind where I'm going. She likes to rule the roost. If you don't dance to her tune, then... They used to be so close. She's got my dad wrapped around her little finger. They're very tight. It's like she doesn't want to share him. That dress, I mean, what possessed her? Hey, Moulin Rouge, he said. Oh. Want to make a fool of yourself, Yasmin? Go on, knock yourself out. Yeah. <laughs> Just seen him on the doorstep. Your dad didn't look very happy. Well, I'm not surprised. We invited him to a tasting evening at the bistro, our treat. Mm. We were having words. Well, to be fair, what couple don't row from time to time, eh? Hey. I hope Faye didn't see me sneak back with this. I don't know how I'm gonna face her. We'd be eating like kings now, but for you and your histrionics. I'm sorry. Spitting out your dummy, cos I spent a few bob of our money to help my son. Yes, our money for richer, for poorer. You do remember our wedding day, the most magical day of my life, quote. It was. What was I thinking of giving you that dress? Well, I can tell you what I was thinking of, actually. Firm thighs, full cups, hips you can hold, Creamy young skin, glossy red lips. What? You actually thought I'd bought it for you? <laughs> like, that sassy little number screams Yasmeen. <laughs> I bought it for someone who'd fill it in all the right places. 
Oh, no, 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 it's a bit late for a strip tease, Yasmin. <laughs> that ship has sailed. Please don't say that! Get off me! <laughs> Not again. What is wrong with you? Uh, please, I just, I just want you to love me like you used to. Oh, please, can you hear yourself? <gasps> that wheedling voice? Uh, what is there to love? You're a shell of a woman, a husk, scrabbling on the floor like a dog. A scrawny, pathetic lap dog. Oh, do you want a chip, little doggy? Here you are, have a chip. Have another, have another, fetch, fetch. <laughs> Put your back into it, Yasmin. Hey, well, those escorts could show you a thing or two. Escorts? That's right, escorts. Plural. They're all about the buzz and the banter. What you'd call joie de vivre, like a lost for life. Well, don't stand there feeling sorry for yourself, you bony old boar. You drove me to it. Look at you. Cowering. Trying to make me feel bad. Well, I don't feel bad. I feel angry. I want to shake some life into you. Where's your dignity, woman? Fawning all over me. Make my skin crawl. Uh, Why can't you grow a spine? Uh, 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 Here you go again. Uh, Flinch like I'm some kind of monster. Uh, uh, if only you could look at yourself. A snivelling, stinking, shriveled up excuse for a wife, dead behind the eyes and from the waist down. And here's me, thinking of all the long years ahead. <laughs> Tortured by your incessant buzzing like a fly, I just long to swat. Till death do us part, God spare me. Maybe I should kill you. Do the world of you. Would anybody really notice if you were gone? Fancy you eating an artichoke. And for a penny, that's always been my motto, sir. So. Do you think Faye believed us? What about Yasmin's dicky tummy? Yeah, I don't know why she agreed to come. I mean, other people would have loved it. They'd like to be in the vanguard. And I thought the feedback we gave to the beast. Uh, oh. Ten. Sorry, it must have been the artichoke. Hey, do you think we should call in? That's not your business, Sam. Well, he is your dad. Unless it was all that wedding talk that set her off. Does she blame your dad for not going to Zidane's? Because she was acting all very strange. And that dress. And you heard Cathy and Eileen rowing in the street. Your husband's always so prim and proper. I mean, where were her manners tonight? Acting all moody and picking a fight with your dad. Isn't Sally, they won't want you ringing it again. They're probably in the bedroom making up. Oh, Tim Tim, information. Or they might not have even got upstairs. <laughs> hey, don't get any ideas. Come on, get home, you. <laughs> Come on, get home. Which 
service do you require? <laughs> I just killed my husband. He's too butch. In denial, you mean. I mean, look, where's the sense, right? Somebody's walking along and they're talking, oh, normally, and all of a sudden they burst into song. I mean, come on. Brian, you must be with me on this, mate. Uh, Mr. Musical, he wakes up warbling, oh, what a beautiful... No. Uh -huh. Yes, and he goes to bed singing tomorrow. No. <laughs> oh, you got to love a bit of Orphan for Nanny, don't you? Not my favourite, though. Oh, he's off, he's off. When you're a jet, you're a jet all the way. First cigarette to your last time you dead. Love, we need to pack that and stop the bleeding. Too late. Can you tell Emily, us how this happened? Um, come and sit down. It's a good thing you rang 999. That was the right thing to do. But he went for fish and chips. OK. Get Yasmin out. She'll tell you I am. What can I see some ID? ID? Yeah, I've got ID. What's his name? Jeff. Jeff. With a, with, it's with a G. OK, and you are? I'm his wife. Your name? Mm, Yasmin. Um, you're still wasting oh, your oh. time. Just relax. Sam, was it a heart attack? Was it a heart attack? Uh, What's that blood from? No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Or something? Put blue light in. His breathing's still shallow. Can I come with you? He's alive. Dad. Trauma alert to Weatherfield General. We have a me? senior male who's pay arrest. Dad, it's him. With a laceration to the neck and around 500 millilitres of blood loss. Is Yasmina? We don't know. Right, has anyone phoned Dahlia? I'm going to come with you, Dad. Okay? Just try not to move, mate. Like I said, try and keep still. He works at Weddy General, you know. The staff are going to be surprised when they see it's him. That's it, Dad. You're going to be all right, OK? You're going to be all right. But I'll follow you to A&E. OK, OK. I love you. Yeah, I love you. Jasmine, hey, are you hurt? What, what's happened? Uh, you need to stand look, back. Look, this is my girlfriend's grand, right? My girlfriend's away in Spain. Don't look, hey, I'll let Ali and Zidane know, OK? No, I want to say goodbye. Mrs Metcalf, you need to come with us. No, no that's her husband. She should be with him. Yes. You all right? Was it a heart attack? No, I need to see you. Look, I'm going straight to a and &E. I'll take you. Uh, okay. She's coming to the station with us. What? Yasmin Metcalf, I'm arresting you on suspicion of assault. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something which you later rely on in court. Anything you do say will be given in evidence. Do you understand? What is it? You tell him I'm sorry. Tell him I'm sorry, please. We need to take your clothes, Yasmin. Um. You're fit for the bin now. For evidence. We have a tracksuit here you can change into. No. If you hand me your things, I'll bag them up. Everything? Everything you're wearing now. Mm. Help me with the zip. As soon as I took you in. I don't know the passwords. Sorry? Security. I, Ali, Ali's got money. Oh, for my fee? No, no, that, that, that really isn't a concern right now. Please, come, take a seat. How are you? 
Are they treating you okay? They wouldn't let me ring. Ring Nelia? Mm -hmm. My husband. Well, I will make sure to follow up his progress in the hospital. I thought he was dead. Just take your time. Okay? So tell me through what happened. Whatever you can remember. Okay. Um, the police tell me that he was wounded with a wine bottle. Had you been drinking? Had you two had an argument? Okay, was there anybody else in the house? Yes, mean. Are they definitely going to find your fingerprints on that wine bottle? I hit him. And it was quiet. What time did Mr. and Mrs. McCarthy leave? Oh, not long got here. Um, ten to five to seven. They're friends of ours. Were. Could we talk more privately? Thanks. Cheers. No. no. <coughs> Alia. Some bit. Desperately trying to find the next flight home. She predicted this. Yeah, me being pushed to breaking point. I'll try again. It's all very well being wise after the event, isn't it? Busy in here tonight. Go up is out in force. Yeah, well, say trouble's good for business. I wish it wasn't. The son and daughter-in-law. Anyone else? How did they seem? Good spirits? No. Well, the others were. They, they were celebrating. Yasmin didn't look happy, and they left soon after that. Well, they didn't even finish the drinks. I mean, and Yasmin, what? Well, she likes to drink. Uh, used to. No more than the next man, if you ask me. Did she seem upset? Uh, upset, annoyed. I couldn't really tell. Um, I think they'd had words. Did you hear what about? Yasmin's very proper, usually. A retired librarian, very buttoned up. Not one to air her dirty linen. If this was a burglary gone wrong, I mean, we live locally to him, we'd like to know. Yeah, I'm sure you would. Right, if you remember anything else, uh, just... Yes, well, they'd not been married long, had they? Not even a year. They were still at the loved-up stage. Odd couple, really. <laughs> She's a school mom. She's nice, but um, a bit tucked in. Jeff's the opposite. Mm, yeah, jiggle it, Jeff. Life and soul of the party. Right, thank you. Makes you think this is a good idea? I wanted to come. Well, maybe he didn't want you seeing him like this. He's very poorly fed. He's still my granddad. I should be here. Granddad? It's me. Hang on in there. We need you. What's keeping Yasmin? You know what? You were there. Well, they said that it was a broken bottle that did this, so I didn't think to ask. Tell me she was arrested. That's why she didn't get on the ambulance. They're saying that she's done this. What? I can't believe that. He said that she might be a bit wonky in the head, but I didn't take him seriously. What have the doctors said? Are they going to have to operate on him? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they said that he's lost a ton of blood and that we're lucky that he didn't sever an artery. They're on the way now to give him a blood transfusion. But he's going to pull through. Oh. Dad? Yeah, I hope so. He's, he's very weak and he's got a very slow pulse and he's got a dodgy ticker. I think we might need to prepare ourselves. Imagine a world without our gesture, eh? I'm Dear Sabney, this is DC Chowdhury. Yasmeen, do you understand why you're here today? 
Have you heard from the hospital? As soon as there's any news about your husband, we'll let you know. Can we talk about what happened tonight? And how Jeff ended up with these very serious injuries? I'll try. Yeah, I just want to remind you of your right to remain silent. You don't have to say anything. You can just say no comment for now. I know it's hard, but it's in your own interest to cooperate as much as you can. At 2029, you dialed 999. Um... He, he wasn't moving. It's all blood. But remember, you can just say no comment. They're life-threatening injuries. The wound in his neck was just inches away from his jugular. Mm -hmm. Did you attack Jeff? Was there an argument? Well, who picked up the wine bottle? It was a knife. What knife, Yasmin? Tell us about the knife. I can't. OK, let's go back. You'd been to your local pub, but came home soon after. Had both of you been drinking? No. Well, Jeff then, was he drunk? Did you argue? I was starving. And he said, that's... That's it, we're leaving. Is that why you lashed out at him? Because he made you come home early? I, I, just, I, just, I, I just needed it to stop. Well, I don't think my client's in any condition to answer these questions. She's clearly in shock and her recollections are confused. You've already told us she did it, Yasmin. With respect. My colleague's now going to play you the call you made to emergency services. your voice, isn't it, Yasmin? For the purposes of the tape, Mrs. Metcalf is nodding her head. On and on and on and I just, just wanted it to stop. I think I need to have another consultation with my client. We'll stop it there for now. Interview terminated at 21.57. Thanks, Yasmin. I'm, I'm useless. He's always saying I never do anything right. She keeps asking about her husband. When did you last get an update? About an hour ago. He was stable. Another inch, you need a bled out there and then. Look, I know what they teach you. Never assume. But still. You're going to say she's an upstanding member of the community. Never so much as an overdue parking ticket. Yes, I would, because it's true. I spoke to one of my socos. She said it's the nicest house I've ever searched. But you've heard the recording. She's not saying she was provoked or acting in self-defence. She's not saying much of anything, unsurprisingly. Oh, I'm interested in the timeline. There's plenty of people who witnessed them leaving the pub. I understand they went home together and then he went straight out again. What time did he go back? How long were they rowing before she attacked him? No, we... We don't know that she attacked him. Yeah, yeah. He could have done it himself to frame her. She's vulnerable. In the real world. In the real world, she's still vulnerable. Could well have been self-defence. If she hit him once. But that's not what the medics are saying. They say she lashed out and hit him round the head. Presumably with such force it shattered the bottle. Then she went for him a second time, slashing him in the neck. Self-defence. Well, that's one reading of the situation. OK. So after she attacked him with that bottle, what did she do? Dial 999 straight away or did she wait? And if she waited, why? She needs to rest before you start on her again. I'm not in any rush. I'm not going to look to charge her. We'll see what happens when the husband wakes up and we get his version of events. Obviously, if he doesn't wake up, it'll be a very different story. The officers will be back any minute. Yasmin, look at me. Look, I know you're going through hell right now. But I'm here for you. You've got a good heart. You stuck by Rana when the whole world had turned its back against her. So I'm going to do everything in my power to protect you. I just need something from you in return. I need you to think before you speak. Or if possible, don't speak at all. 
All right, leave that to me. Everything you say is being recorded and the detectives out there are gonna be going over and over all of it with a fine tooth comb. We cannot afford any slip ups. But I did it. I hold my hands no, up. I'm not asking you to lie. Justice will be done. Just please give me an opportunity to build your case. Look, I cannot stress this enough. Jeff is in critical condition. Of course, all of us are desperate for him to pull through, but if he doesn't, if he dies and I haven't adequately protected you, you could be looking at a murder charge. Do you understand? That recording we heard is very damaging. Okay, but I'm gonna row us back from that. But I can only do that if you stop talking to them and you start talking to me. You have to trust me, Yasmin. Otherwise you're finished. I just don't get it. No. I mean, I know that you and her have fallen out before and she can be a bit funny. And Dad said that she was having problems. Well, there must be something else, something that we don't know about. All she said was, I'm sorry, didn't she? Right, so she stabbed him and tried to cut his throat. That's not an accident or lashing out, Sal. That's, that's, that's her trying to kill him. Dear Sabney, DC Chowdhury. Yeah, right, what's happened, what she said? We'll interview her again once we've heard Mr Metcalf's version of events. If he wakes up. What did she say happened? At the moment, we can't see. Well, she's already told us. She told Sally that she was sorry, didn't she? That's a confession. She tried to kill him. Tim. She's a murderer. They're still in there. Mary said she passed speed down and it said closed until further notice. Yeah, Tar. Could an argument get that out of hand? In my experience, yes. Yeah. Mm. So you told the police that you saw them arguing? Well, it was like... He wasn't being physical with her, but when they went inside, it was... Uh, it sounded stupid and it, it was getting dark. What? Before he walked away, it was like he locked her in. Has she ever said anything to you about her and Jeff rowing? No, not really, but I think Jeff's got a temper. Mm. You know, he had a go at her once. When I was there, he didn't know. It was pretty nasty. But, you know, then again, couples snap at each other sometimes, don't they? I know I do with Brian. Gail caught her crying once. And did you hear about the trick that went wrong, getting locked in the box? Yeah, yeah, jiggle it, Jeff. We were there. No, it was after that. Thank you, Mr. Ryan. Hey, hey, oh, I came straight here. Yeah. Have you seen her? No, but Imran's in there now. Here, let me take... What have they said? Well, not tell me anything else, but just help me. 
All I know is she's been arrested, right, under suspicion of assault. OK, and I heard her tell Sally that she was sorry. I should never have left her. It's OK, it's all right. You couldn't have predicted that this was going to happen, and could you? What about Jeff? What's he said? What, Ryan? What's he said? No. He's still not conscious. Are you? She might have killed him. Calm down. <laughs> Calm down, Mr. McCarthy. Right. Dad! It's okay. 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 It's How is she? Not good. She's still very shaken. But the good news is that Jeff's finally woken up. That's the good news. Well, it is if it means that she's not going to be charged with murder. But what's she saying happened? I've not really been able to get much out of her. Beyond what she said in the 999 call. Which was? Wait, you've heard it. She said, I just killed my husband. Oh, my God. Wait, she's saying she tried to kill him. No, 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 wait. If she's saying that, it was obviously in self-defence. She must have thought that her life was in danger. That's what I presumed as well, but... But, but what? She also said that it was all her fault. Well, then she's not in her right mind. She's in shock. Probably. No, no, there's no probably about it. This is what he's done to her. He's brainwashed her into thinking that all this is her fault. Yes, but unfortunately that is a very difficult thing to prove. I will... I will go and speak to her again. OK, just give her a bit more time. And what do we do until then? Honestly, the best we can hope for is that Jeff's version of events contradicts that 999 call. Hey. sure you're up to this, Jeff? I'm fine. Can they stay? If you prefer that, yes. What's important is that you tell me, in as much detail as possible, what happened. I don't feel like there's much to tell, really. We were arguing about her drinking, as usual. Just that? You weren't arguing about anything else? No. Then she hit me. She stabbed you? I don't really remember that. I know she thinks I nag her about the boozing, but she's admitted she's got a problem. And the argument about her drinking aside, can you think of a reason why she'd attack you? No. In all honesty, I can't. Excuse me, which room is... Never mind. I don't understand. Yasmin and I fight sometimes, sure, but we love each other. Oh, is that what you call it? Love? Oh, yeah. Is she allowed in here, sir? Do you want to know what happened? My gran was trying to protect herself from him from months of abuse. Right, you need to calm down. No, Elia, you're wrong. I love Yasmin. I'd never hurt her. Why, he's a liar! Look at him! My gran was scared for her life. Tell them about locking her up and leaving her in the box. Oh, we've been through this before. He didn't know that she couldn't get out. Alia, this is not the time. All the lies. Rinse in the business. He nearly died because of what she did. OK, you can't be here. No, you can't get away with this. He can't get away with it. Alia, he's just, ill. Just, just get her out, will you? No, son, it, it's OK, it's OK. This must be hard on her, too. No, don't you dare. Don't you dare play the nice guy now. He's evil! I wish he'd finished the job! Do, do, do we just get her out? Alia! Talked to you about this before. I requested information on him under Claire's law. This isn't Listen just me kicking off. Me. We'll talk to you separately, okay? We want to get to the bottom of this as much as you do. So just let us do our job. Sally, you know something's not right, don't you? You know my gran. You know that she wouldn't do something like this unprovoked. Look, just listen to me. He has been manipulating and controlling her for months, and I'm pretty sure he gaslighted her about the whole alcoholic thing. He's the one that's sick, OK? Not my gran, him. You see her out. Come on.
sorry about that. She's always hated me. I've tried. I've really tried. I know Alia thinks I'm making a mountain out of a molehill over her drinking, but she doesn't see what she's like. I, I like a drink, but with her, it's like a switch that flips. She's a different person. Has she hit you before? Look, if you want us to give you some privacy... Yes, she has. I mean, nothing like this. You know, the odd push here and there. She's hit me a couple of times. No, oh, Dad. I'm sorry, son. It's hard to say I'm all this in front of you. Makes me seem so weak. No, 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 don't be silly. And this isn't your first incident like this, is it? No, my mum were an alky. She used to knock him about a bit and all. Your mother is Jocelyn Walker? No, 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 her name is Tessa. No. Jocelyn was different. Who's Jocelyn, then? Well, there's some no mark who started a fight with me in a pub. It's on your record. A violent incident. Dad? We only went out for a few months. We broke up. She sees me in the pub and starts saying, I'm stalking her. It was our local. I was having a pint. But it got violent. She'd had a few. We went outside and I made a stupid joke. She flipped out and started hitting me. Yeah, I didn't touch her. I mean, you know, she starts screaming blue murder and someone calls the police. And with Tessa? And with Tessa, nothing. She had a drink problem, that's all. She'd lash out sometimes. What? So, sorry, just to confirm, three times this has happened. At least three instances of violence against you by women under the influence of alcohol. Wait, what are you saying? You think because I've been the victim of violence three times in my life that I'm somehow to blame? Would you say that to a woman? Dad. Mr Metcalf, I'm just trying to get to the bottom of what happened. I'll tell you what happened. Yasmin's a psycho drunk that tried to murder me dad. That's all you need to know. Hey. Hey. Listen, I know Imran's got you covered, but uh, if there's anything else I can do for Yasmin. Thanks, mate. Has Ali been able to tell you what's going on in the hospital? No. Oh, you've been away, haven't you? No, he's left. He's left? Yeah, he's staying with some mates in Liverpool. It's a bit sort of my. <sighs> Why do you think? Got it. Pleaded guilty to assaulting him. And now he's waiting for sentencing. You are? You did what? I'm sorry, all right? Hey, another time, yeah? Yeah, sure. Jeez. Brilliant. Just brilliant. I can't let them treat him like the victim. He is the victim, Alia. Whatever happened before, Yasmin has admitted to the attack. You going around and shouting the odds is only feeding his narrative that you lot were all out to get him. I'm sorry to interrupt, guys, but uh, are you talking about Yasmin? Yeah, Kathy. Of course we were. It's all right. She's just asking. We're concerned. What happened? Oh, you want to know, yeah? I don't. Well, they should hear this. Listen to me. They are all probably going to be called as witnesses. And the prosecution are probably going to ask them what they think about Jeff. And if they say that you told them what it was really like... They're not credible. ...that they need to be unbiased and telling the truth. What they saw, not what you told them happened. Sorry, Alia. Love, we didn't know. Oh, really? You didn't know? But all the little comments on her drinking, all the unfunny jokes, putting her down, belittling her, that's normal, is it? That's what men do to their partners. They want to question her again. Please let me take you home. This is Metcalf. Take your time. This is Metcalf. Everyone told me he's woken up. Is he okay? He's got a nasty wound on his neck and a concussion, but they think he'll be okay. They're keeping him in for observation. <sighs> Is it okay if you answer my question now about what happened? I... I really can't remember. I'm so sorry. That's 
شیطان I'm not excusing what I did, I just, but I saw, I saw a knife. I saw... Well, Jeff said he put the knife down on the kitchen worktop. I thought I thought he had it. You thought you still had the knife. I, I, I can't. Okay. What happened next? I panicked. Why did you panic, Yasmin? This is a photo of Mr. Metcalf's neck wound taken earlier today. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no. No. I need... I need to see him. I need to... I need to see him. It's my husband. I need... I need to say I'm so sorry. Why didn't you say she was this bad after everything that you went through with me, Mum? Because I didn't want you to have to go through it all over again. I know how upset you were when I told you about your mum's problems. Not with you, though. You can talk to me. I know. Right, they said we need to clear out. Thank you, both of you. I know I can get through this with you in my corner. All right. Love you, Dad. Love you too, son. Yeah. Take care of yourself. Right, sorry. Bye. Okay. Thank you, Yasmin. Um, can I see him now? Jeff? Can I can I see him? Jeffrey? No. Yes, please? Me. You can't. Do you understand what's going on? Anything that you may rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. You are charged with the following offence. That on the 13th of April 2020 in Weatherfield. You attempted to murder Jeffrey Metcalf.